Hello, everyone. Hi. How you doing? Oh, how you doing? Today we're showing you how to take pictures. Yes, mostly pictures of the van. Obviously, we've been taking a lot of pictures in Vanessa here. But mm -hmm. uh, note that you don't need to be a professional photographer or to have a big kit, big lens, a big camera to take pictures. Nope. We're going to show you what you can do with this simple thing here, an mm -hmm. iPhone. And even with GoPros for those of you. And even with GoPros, you, yeah. right. So you can improve on your family photos, landscape photos, travel photos. Yeah. And uh, warm Morning. We are not professional photographers. No. So everything we learned are from friends, other photographers. Experience mostly. Experienced teachers, etc. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to show you what type of camera we use, what mm -hmm. type of lens. When to shoot. Is it better yeah. in the morning? Is it better at night? What's a golden hour? What's a blue hour? How to edit your photos. Just oh. Really quick. And at the end we have a surprise. At the end we're going to be giving you our LUTs. LUTs stand for? Uh, Lookup tables. Lookup tables. So they're basically filters. So we're going to yeah. be telling you, we're going to be giving you Yep. Um, the, the folders so you can edit your pictures with our color settings so yep. you can... And that's going to be a lot of fun because uh, all of the pictures are going to be like... Wah, 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 wah. That's, that's the sound a good picture makes when it gets online. <laughs> Alright, let's go shoot some photos. <laughs> start with the camera. Yeah. The camera that we use to take photos is this baby here. It is called a Canon 5D Mark III. And um, it's a very, very good camera if you're trying to do some semi-professional work. Uh, it's a full frame, meaning it has a large sensor at the back. And um, it's pretty much like a tank. It's just yeah. really well built. It's very sturdy. It is sturdy, it's strong, and it's it, it, it's it has a professional feel to it. Now, in terms of lenses, we have five, starting with the shortest one, which is 14 millimeter, very wide, very good for pictures of the van or interior. We mainly shoot the interior of the van with the 14 mil because it is very wide, but it we looks, also. Yeah, it makes the van look really, really big and huge yeah so we use the 14 mil mainly for that landscapes as well yeah 1635 it's uh, good for uh wide shots but also for uh pictures that you want to punch in a bit so 35 is a good focal length for you know day-to-day -day scenes 24 105 that's a popular lens. It's a very sturdy yeah. lens. Uh, you can buy it for not much of money mm -hmm. with the 5D and uh, it's good for basically anything. Right, 50 millimeter portrait, my favorite lens. Mm -hmm. I love it because the pictures that you take, this combined with the Canon, the pictures are so sharp and you can take great portrait photos with the mountains in the back. I just love this lens, the colors, everything, two different styles. And then the last ones. It's a bazooka. One, bazooka called a 100 to 400. 400 so it goes to 100 and then you can punch it at 400 and see lions <laughs> i meant i meant bears so when you like, punch it at 400 you, you see, see lions <laughs> i meant bears on the other side of the lake so this is something that we use a lot as well now if you don't have the money for all this beautiful kit or if you want to travel light there are many other options that are more affordable and yep. more easy to find starting with the gopro um the gopro 8 is getting quite advanced yeah. um there are many different points of view you can use and it's a very nice little powerhouse for your pictures and videos and it's also very wide allowing you to take pictures when in a, in a tightening space or very nice pictures of landscapes for example yep. now a third camera or a third thing that we use and that is something that we use the most is the iPhone you yeah. have an iPhone 11 I have an iPhone 10 yeah. but any iPhone will do but there's something particular that you like about this thing the iPhone 11 is a big game changer for photography and videography just mm -hmm. because they added uh, quality and they added lenses on the iPhone. So let's say three of them. I have three lenses on there. I have the normal one. They called it the 1x, meaning it's the usual focal length you would have. Mm -hmm. There's the 2x, meaning you double the focal length you have. So let's say I want to punch in farther, I can. And there's the 0.5, meaning I'm going back and I shoot wider yeah. than the 1x. What's nice with this is that I can shoot pictures of the van quite fastly and quite easily just with the 0.5 going like this. Mm -hmm. And it's very nice because it's a small camera yes, yeah. and you can stay a little more subtle than with the cameras when you shoot. I see a lion. <laughs> So 
So now that you have your camera in hand and that you are ready to shoot, you need to determine to determine. You need to determine. You need to determine what you want to show and what is the story, the message that you want to share with people. Yes. Say, for example, that you're doing a photo of me working from the van. Yes. Frame. It depends. Do I want to see the details in your fingers when you're working on your laptop? If so, I'm going to use something very close. In the opposite, if I want to show you working in the forest in the middle of fall and I want to see the van and the leaves, I'm going to have to go back right. and shoot something wider. Yeah. So that's how you think of your story before starting to shoot. Now when to shoot? You will notice that most of the pictures on our Instagram and most of the peak. Well, What's the, what's the, what's the picture. Word? I can't say picture. picture. I, okay. I say picture. Picture. And most of the pictures that you will see on other Instagram accounts, like big photographers, are usually taken in the morning or in the afternoon, right before sunset and sunrise. We have the blue hour. This is before the sun rises and after the sun sets. And the golden hour. This is right after the sun rises and right before the sun sets. So obviously, blue hour, the colors are going to be blue, and obviously, golden hour, the colors are going to be. Yeah, and what's nice about these two times is that it literally changes your colors on your camera. So for example, this picture of Lake Moraine, we had to mm. wake up at 4 a.m. to yeah. make sure the light was just on the ridge of the mountain behind to make sure the lake was the bluest we could yeah. have. Yeah. And that's a good example of waking up early and going to bed late. Number three. To take great pictures, ideal conditions. Why do you put your fingers in my face again? Am I annoying you? No. No. I have a lot of patience. Am I annoying you now? When you hit my eye, we. Oui. Excuse me. Okay. Asawi. <laughs> now, number three would be the place. Yeah. The place. You have to put a little effort into finding the right place for your pictures. Mm -hmm. But for example, if you're trying to do a real estate picture of your van, you are gonna have to look for the ideal background for that real estate picture. Yeah. yeah, so try to find a very, very good setting. Obviously, taking a picture might require a little bit of time. And Marie here is the professional scouting agent, <laughs> meaning she has a very good idea of what we are shooting before we arrive on yeah. the site. She goes on Instagram and Google images, yeah. and she's gonna Google the name of the lake or the name of the forest we are visiting, yeah. and she's gonna show up on the shoot with five or six options and she's going to say if you want the van that way or if you want to walk that way we could have the lake in the background yeah, or yeah. we could have this and that yeah. and it's okay to go on instagram see what other photographers did mm -hmm. and try to replicate their work and when you get good enough you're going to find your own spots and you're going to lead the way to other photographers Absolutely. to do their own thing so it's okay to copy or to imitate inspire. yeah imitate be inspired yeah just be inspired. Be super. Can I have like an ARP sound? Be inspired. You want an ARP sound in the edit? Okay, okay. Yeah, go when, ahead. when go I go ahead. when I go be inspired, I want to. So say. guys, just be inspired. Harp sound three through one. Now frames. Frames is something that uh, is very important when taking pictures. There is a rule that is called the. Rules of thirds. Rules of third. So you'll probably notice even on the phones yep. that you have, you have the option to put on the grids. Yep. And the grids are basically the third. For some very strange reasons, um, the human eye likes it mm -hmm. when something is not dead centered. Yep. That's a bit counterintuitive for Instagram, mm -hmm. but you can still manage to figure out nice pictures using the rule of thirds. So for example, if you're shooting the horizon, Try to put the horizon somewhere on the lower third yeah. or on the upper third of your picture. You'll see uh, with the experience or, or by shooting a lot, you'll see that you'll, like, you'll prefer some pictures more than others. And most of the time it's because you used your rule of thirds properly. Yeah, yeah, it makes a big difference. All right, so now that you have determined what you want to shoot, where you want to shoot and how you want to shoot it, yeah. you need to take that picture. So mm -hmm. we are going to show you exactly what we do using the van. So we are now in the Rockies, uh, a place called Bow Lake, which is like between close to Banff and on the way to Jasper. Mm -hmm. And there is a very beautiful blue lake. Wait, I have a joke. What? A bow, beautiful lake. Don't do that. No, <laughs> that, that's not a good joke. <laughs> 
and I'm gonna be working. So the picture is gonna be me working on the table, Dom taking the shot. Yeah, I'm gonna do this with all the lenses we have, oh. with the iPhone and with the GoPro. Oh, good idea. And I'm gonna compare all the pictures I got in the end. Very, very good. So people can see how it, uh, what what's are, the difference? yeah, what's the difference between nice. all the tools we use. Yeah. Let's hit it. Let's do this. Okay. Yes. Um, what we're gonna shoot today together is the classical, how would you call this type of shot? Like with the back doors I would open. Call it back door view of the mountain of the lake of the beautiful mountain of the beautiful lake. Why do you keep repeating all the words in your titles? Because you need to put emphasis on every words. Yes. We're gonna do together today the beautiful back door no. shot of the lake no. of the beautiful. Back door view of okay. the lake okay. of it's, the mountain it's fine. of the beautiful lake of the beautiful mountain. We're just gonna shoot together a classic back door shot. <laughs> They're pretty famous in the van life movement. And uh, we like them a lot just because it gives you a wide open space on the scenery you have and you see the van also. So it's, it's very good. So we're gonna start with the 14 mil on the 5D Mark III. And we're gonna do all the lenses first. And after that, we're gonna do the GoPro, the iPhone with the three lenses. And that's it, I think. Okay, so you work now. You have to slightly overexpose your background in order to have the van sufficiently lighten up because otherwise, if you try to have all the right colors in the back, you would usually have a very dark van inside. I'm gonna give you the settings of each photo that we're doing and let's go. Okay, so now iPhones. We're gonna shoot with an iPhone 11, which has three lenses, a 0.5, a 1X, and a 2X. The 1X is the typical lens that most of the iPhones have. Uh, the 2X is a telephoto, a bit, a, a bit farther, and the 0.5 is a, sh is a wider um, lens. So here we are at 1X, taking pictures of Marie. And as you probably noticed, the iPhone is compensating for the background being too bright and the foreground being too dark because it's basically a computer doing the job for you here. And it's very nice. You have the 2X here. As you can see, we're losing details. And the 0.5 is my favorite focal length on the iPhone because it gives you a very wide angle on your uh, van and you don't, have to, you don't have to work that hard to make it look good. So... Now, we're gonna shoot with the GoPro. GoPro 8 here, you have different angle you can use on the GoPro 8, uh, but the wide one would be the one we go for. So this is a picture with the wide angle. This is a picture with the linear angle. And this is a picture with the narrow angle. All the angles you use with the GoPro are pretty much wide and it's normal because it's an action camera. The widest you have, the better it is because you see pretty much all what's going around. So it's, it's pretty neat to shoot van interiors. So now that you have taken many pictures and that you have decided on the one that you want, yes. you need to edit your photo. Yes. Obviously you could post it as is, but mm -hmm. what we like to do is just punch in the colors a little bit to make it look very, very nice. So what are the apps that we, that you use starting with the phone? Uh, on the iPhone, what we mainly use is VSCO. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of control on the pictures, but we also use the mobile version of Lightroom, which has basically all the same elements in the app as you would have on a computer. Yeah. So this is what I would use with the iPhone. Yes. Yeah. Now on your computer, you would use Lightroom. It's Adobe Lightroom. Yeah. It's very, again, it's very nice to work with. You mm -hmm. have all the basic, uh, what's Python? Buttons, controls. Controls. Con controls. <laughs> you have all the basic controls on the, <laughs> on the right of your images and you can see instant results on what you're doing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to edit that picture on Lightroom on the computer and we're also going to edit it on the Lightroom kind of or VSCO on the phone. Yes. Just so you can see what it does. And I'm going to tell you everything I'm doing so you're not lost and you're understanding everything that's going on with the different pixels of the picture. There you go. We are going to edit the 14 millimeter picture that we took with Marie just a couple of minutes ago. And I'm going to show you how to use the presets we are giving you today in this tutorial in the description below. The name of the preset is Epic. 
It's called Saga 3000, and when you click on it, like this, you're gonna see all the colors and all the exposure change in your picture. Now, beware. Your picture, once you apply the preset on it, might not look super fantastic. Why? Because you have to adjust everything on it still. So, for example, here, you can see the picture is way too orange. So I'm gonna have to bump the white balance towards the bluish side of the, of the thing and there, until the cabinets are white again. Now, another problem, the picture is still very dark. So we're gonna use the exposure uh, thing here and we're gonna push it up, but beware, you don't want your picture to look overexposed, so plus 0.4 would be just enough here. After this, I feel like the contrast is just okay, so I'm gonna leave it at minus six. The highlights in the back are very harsh, maybe I could push them down. The whites as well, but no, nope, I can't turn the whites down because it's gonna look like there's a cloud in front of the sun. However, the shadows, I can bump them up because I feel that they are too present. So shadows here and blacks here, so there you go. Now you have a picture that looks like what we would post on Instagram. If you want to manage your colors yourself, you have to go in the H, you have to go in the HSL section right here and play with the hue, saturation and luminance of each of the color. I'm going to give you an example. The hue on the blue in the back, I can play with to make the blue a little more turquoise like this or a little more purple like this. So you can basically manage every color separately depending on what your tastes are. Another thing we use to edit pictures on the fly would be the app VSCO on iPhone. And uh, the first step is to import your picture. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna work with the 0.05x picture that I took of Mary a few seconds ago. So this one here, import. Click on it, click on edit at the bottom, and here is your raw picture that we're working on together today. Now, the way VSCO works is very nice because you have tons and tons of presets at the bottom of the screen. Uh, we wasted weeks in uh, trying them all and we confirmed today that the preset A4 is the one we're going to use for the rest of our van pictures. So A4 is right here in the middle. And what's nice with VSCO is that it lets you uh, save your own personal presets. So when you go in the third tab at the bottom, the little circle with the arrow, you can click on your personal preset. And I'm gonna click on it right now. And here you go. This is the Saga 3000 preset on the iPhone with VSCO. And since I'm not sure how to export the preset, I'm just gonna give you the formula right here. So what we use is basically A4 analog at 6.7, plus 0.9 for the exposure, contrast at plus one, the white balance at minus 1.1, and the little secret here with the HSL would be to turn your blues at minus 0.7 of hue, minus one of saturation, and plus 5.7 of lightness in order to have this nice turquoise background when you have uh, skies or waters in the back. So there you go. I want to save this. Next, save. It's going to save in your pictures. You can go in your pictures and here is your picture that you can share on Instagram or anywhere you want. guys so that's it for the photography workshop i hope you enjoyed yes just go out there try it you'll yeah. eventually develop your style just start with what you have iphones are a good platform to start working with images and if you get good and if you like it and if you have the money invest. then it, yeah then is the time to invest and buy bigger cameras not before yeah. now if you're taking pictures and you want to have feedback or if you have questions don't hesitate to reach out to us send us your pictures by instagram and then we can oh yeah good idea and then we can comment and give you help but i'm sure you'd be yeah, i'm fine, sure all obviously. the pictures are going to be amazing oh. when i was young my mom would say like do you find this very pretty i'd be like yeah and she's like take a mental picture so i'd go like 
with that. Were you a normal kid or? <laughs> <laughs> Not nice. All right, let's go. <laughs> Heard about the yellow stripes on the side of the no, van? No. <laughs> I think uh, what I like the most about the van is the fact that wherever I look, mm -hmm. I remember your dad or my dad working on it together, like cutting the wood, painting, stain.